When your glider is all trimmed, the next step is to get it ready for flight. Um, and for this, you're going to need some thread, which I mentioned at the beginning as part of the uh, tools and equipment. Um, some really thin thread will work just fine. Um, because I'm doing this on video and you're never going to see it uh, because the thread is so fine, I'm going to use a big piece of thick one um, just so that you can see it more easily. Uh, but you want to use the thin one. Um, we need to start with a, a piece that's approximately 18 inches long. So I got a ruler here and I'll just cut 18 inch piece. All right. So then flip your glider over and on the back side of the wing is a hole in the slide box. It kind of sticks out the side. So thread your thread through that hole. And I like to start with a a little slip knot. All right, so I have my thread cinched down there. And that little piece that hangs off, you can go ahead and cut that off just adds extra drag. Okay, so then on the side of the fuselage boom, right in front of the tail, is a small hole, and we want to pass the other end of the thread through that hole. It comes out, and then pull the wing all the way back. Make sure it stays back there while you're doing all this. Okay, and then on the front end, there's another hole, and it's on the same side that came where it came out of the hole on the back. You want to go in through that hole on the front. Okay, and then pull it tight. Again, make sure that it stays, the wing stays back. Now the free end, we want to pass it on top of the Kevlar of the hole and out through the other side. And I don't have my glasses on, so it's the blind, leading the blind here. Okay. Okay. And come up underneath the, the Kevlar. And you got a loop there, so then pull it through the loop. Oops, it didn't work quite as much as I wanted. I'll back it out just a little bit. I want to go through the loop there. Okay, now why is this not working? Maybe I went the wrong direction. Nope. Oh well. I'll just do it again. I have tweezers to help me. There we go. Oops, pulled it off. Pulled my Kevlar off. So I'll just put another drop of CA glue right there. So what I just did there, the CA actually wicked down and it and it fused right here. Um, so I got super glue into that knot, which is not bad. Um, I, in in when you have a hard time tying a knot, you can glue a knot, <laughs> um, and it will cut off later. Um, and then this excess that hangs off, we'll go ahead and trim that again just to get rid of some drag. Um, with the wing all the way back. Now the wing can't come forward um, because of the, the thread right there. 
Now our rubber band, remember to put that back on the glider. Once you put that rubber band on, it wants to tighten itself up. Everything's real tight right now. Um, then we're going to put the igniter in, go out to the launch pad and launch it. Um, and then what happens is the, when the ejection charge goes off, um, it burns that thread. The thread is released and it hangs off the back and that's fine um, as long as nothing falls off. Um, and then the, the, the wing will slide forward and I can simulate that by cutting the, uh, the thread. And if everything works, it should slide forward in a guillotine fashion. Just like that. And you'll see this thread hanging off, but that's okay. And at this point, the, the glider will glide down. Um, so the next video is actual launch of the rocket, and you'll see it transition into a glide, and uh, it's a nice little glider. Um, this is the Cirrus Breeze rocket glider, and I'd like to thank you for watching, and I hope you learned a lot, um, not only for this glider, for, but for other models. My name is Tim Van Milligan, and I'm from Apogee Components at www.apogeerockets.com.